Well, not too bad a day today. I've cleared uh, some of the junk around it. I can't move that door thing. But there we are. I'll get back to the old girl. And I've had the battery off and charged it. And I've not tried to turn it yet, so I don't know how how good it will be. It won't start up like last time, I do know. Um, well, so, first start for what is this? I mean, it, it's quite a while, isn't it? It must be six months, I think, because I think the last time when I parked her here, it was uh, after my little trip when I called dining out on it, which was, what? September, October, October time it must have been. So anyway, I've got to get on and just, all I've done is I, I pump the fuel up and uh, it just pumped up one pump to pump it up. So it's still got fuel there. It needs, the throttle needs to be flat out and the cold start button needs pressing in. We're still a bit confined to space, but uh, there you are, that's gone in. I have turned it on, tightened the batteries up, that's done properly. So, it's, as I say, as far as I'm aware, this is the first time that she's turned over for six months. So, we don't expect an immediate start. But we'll see if it even turns over, shall we? Stop buttons in. Yeah, let's see what happens. Because what we have to do now is to uh, need two hands. I've got to just uh, put the hydraulics in gear and see if that works. Oh, one thing we can do, which I didn't check, which is a very, very I can do it from the seat. You can remember, I changed the hydraulic oil last year. The gearbox oil, well, it, we knew it would go milky straight away because it gets condensation in. But there we are, look, it's still up to the mark. You can do there's lots of marks on there, but there is one that we know is I think that's the correct one. Anyway, it's got plenty of newish oil in, but it goes milky because of condensation. They all do. I was told that when I did it, right. I just had to stop this one second uh, to put kind of two hands to put the hydraulics in gear because with the PTO clutch stuck, what I do is put it in and just jab the start button. You see, right? I've got the hydraulics in gear um, just to show you because the bloke that I got it off didn't have to work it. That's your pump, right? So that's PTO. And that's PTO and pump. And you must have the pump engaged for the hydraulics to work. I know it's fairly obvious, but this tractor was supposed to hydraulics not to work, and it's because the previous owner didn't know that. Right, let's see if it'll restart and see if the hydraulics work. <laughs> 
when it's not warmed up without the cold start buttons, it takes a few more wines, but that's not bad, is it? And just to show you, ticking over oil pressure. to be 70 pounds oil pressure so I don't think we can argue that there's anything wrong with this engine. Right, now the hydraulics, I if I can turn around, let me turn the view on so and see what I'm doing. Because there's two levers here and that one is for your trailer pipe which is down there if you have a Anyway, the out there, that's if you've got a trailer connected, your auxiliary, and then the hydraulics. Oh, that works alright, doesn't it? Nothing wrong with that. And that lever there, by the way, if you can see, there's like a lever there, and there's a stop there. And what you do is, when you pick it up, if you move this lever so it to stop, you can set it so it keeps it up, or you can set the drop rate. So if you look, I can get the hand out of the way, look at the back, you see you can drop it very slow if you want, or faster. Right? So that stop there, which is adjustable, if you undo all the rusty nuts, is to uh, Speed drop rate, you know, so you can hold the bell. Just a little bit of interest I'm trying to show you. Anyway. It's charging well, started well. You know, I don't think... I think... The old girl might just make it. We'll see this year. Um, I'll tell you what I've got planned another day. I've only got a few outings that I really want. Well, I might do more. We don't know. It all depends how I feel, how much I age in the next week, because we're aging at a faster rate now. Right, so, the only thing to show you now is there's a drop of diesel leak out that but that's two washers but i don't know if you remember after the repair last year i thought it was leaking out there well in the end mark came around because it was pouring out quite a lot and we had a look and um we didn't have an injector tester to test them anyway what i did uh i took this pipe off to get to it off that injector and took that one out and I put it on that pipe and just turned it over a couple of times now it was spraying all right but on the nozzle halfway up it was leaking out there well we tried to undo it but as I was going out um, we didn't want to break it obviously you know I think I was going to a show or something you've only got a few days a year you go have you so it was running so we left it and what we did was put a ceiling washer in because when I took it to pieces there were two ceiling washers in and Mark told me they shouldn't be because they actually got like copper sleeves and they seal on those so there we go um, so the only job as I said I've got to do left is take the injectors out and have them serviced and then the whole thing should be ready for a year or 20 because it really is mechanically in such good condition you know it really is right anyway i hope you've enjoyed seeing the old girl and that start up and that was genuine it hadn't been run and it's now may the third so just to let you know yeah i'm as you can imagine I'm well happy with that. Hopefully we'll have a little whiz on it soon. 
see you.